Hello, Lace from Thailand. Today's video is going to be about the Thailand blues or Pattaya blues, whichever you want to, to call it. But basically it's how you feel after the first time you've ever been to Thailand. Now let me paint a picture of how it was when I first came in 2002. I was 42 year old, just been through a divorce, which wasn't very good. So not feeling the best. And you come to Thailand, exotic location, beautiful beaches, beautiful people. Every night is a Saturday night in Pattaya. And it's just like, wow, wow, you know. It, no matter what day you go out, it was good. Live bands everywhere, everybody laughing and joking and, and plenty of people just basically having a good time. And then on top of that then, whichever bar you go to and some beautiful girls in the bars and I would say about 80% chance of taking any of them home with you for that night or for a, a couple of nights depends on what you want but the, the choices are just unbelievable even now I've been living in Thailand now for eight years and every time we go to party I'm a people watcher I like to watch the people of 50 years old upwards they're the young again. It's just a fantastic feeling and I love to see the people enjoy themselves because there's no other feeling in the world than you going around with a, a young lady on your arm and thinking, wow, you know, look what I've done here. It's, it's fantastic. Just the feeling of, of happiness over here is what you get. But as I say, that comes at a cost. It's the, the Thailand blues, Pattaya blues. So like me, I'll use me as an example, being here for the two weeks, I went to Koh Samui, went to Koh Samet, um, really, really some good experiences, some not so good experiences either, if you haven't seen my first time in Pattaya videos, give them a watch and you'll see what happened to me when I first went to Thailand. It's, it's a good story, it's quite a funny story, um, some good bits and some bad bits, but at the end of the day, after your two weeks holiday, you had to go home. So then you go home, you go back to your job, you go back to your flat or your apartment or your house, wherever you're living, and reality sets in, you're away from that dream again. You go out on a Friday or Saturday night around the local area, around your town, and it's nowhere near the same. So it's in your head all the time. And when I was there, the my best time was in Koh Samui. The girl that I met there certainly changed my life, changed my view on life. It was fantastic. And could I get her out of my mind? No, I couldn't. I spent four days with her and she changed my view of life totally. And it was a, a fantastic feeling. And all I wanted to do was come back to Thailand and live that dream again, live the holiday again. It was just a, a fantastic time it really really was so then you wake up it's in your mind Thailand warm sea beautiful beaches nice location relatively cheap for an evenings entertainment and here there and everywhere good value for money you go to work you do your normal days work and it's just the same it's in your head all the time I want to be there I want to be there I want to be there and then you go home on a night and you're on your own and you're single again and you're sat in your flat watching TV and it's just like so your mind is on Thailand all the time I defy anybody to say that they've been to Thailand and come back home and never felt a single remorse about coming back home and not wanting to go back to Thailand everybody wants to go back to Thailand and but at 42 year old I knew I was eight years away from being able to do that and that's another frustrating thing in your mind that if you're not 50 then you can't retire early unless you've got plenty of money if you've got plenty of money then none of this bothers you because you can just go there anytime you want but 42 year old I knew that I couldn't retire until I was 50 years old and then then I have the option to do it so for them eight years I went to Thailand maybe it's every two years and I just had the two week holiday and then came back home. I had the presence of mind to do that because I knew it was, it was just going to be stupid if you 
had a long distance relationship with a girl and sent them money, then it, it, you're just going to lose. And then it gets even worse then because you are sending money to a girl, you, you don't know whether she's genuine or not, but you're sending her money and you can't be with her, so that just does your head in again. So my advice for any newbies who actually go to Thailand, just do it, the two week holiday, and then come home and then just forget it because it will just do your head in if you can't go there all the time because that's, that's where you want to be all the time. Also, unless you have a pension that you can live on when you retire, you'll soon go through your money. For instance, I know a couple of people who sold their houses and got 80 to 100,000 pounds in the hand, came over to Thailand, bought a bar, uh, or bought a massage shop, or built a house for the Thai girlfriend, and within two years, three years at the most, they've lost everything. And then they had to go back to work, back over to England. So be warned, it's not the paradise that you think it is. You've just got to be due diligence and really, really look and not be ruled by another part of your anatomy, be ruled by your heart and your brain, not anything else. Because if you're ruled by something else, you lose every single time. So, that's the Thailand Blues. My advice again, like I said before, come over here for a two week holiday. So my advice is to try not to get the Thailand blues, just come over here on a holiday, two or three week holiday, and enjoy yourself. Don't go home thinking, I've got a girlfriend over in Thailand, because long distance relationships, in my opinion, of living here for eight years and seeing it, it doesn't work and it's never gonna work. You've got to be here all the time to have a, a good relationship with anybody. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand. Until the next time, bye for now.